Did he really just say sexism is a good thing? Sexism is a good thing and women want it. I'm it is a good thing. It is absolutely a good thing. Do you know what I mean? If men weren't sexist, yeah, they'd just be walking around punching women up. Sexism is literally the reason why men know that they shouldn't punch up women because they understand that there's an inequality between the two genders, which is sexism. That's what it is. Because a woman can say something and not get punched in the mouth and a man will say something and get punched in the mouth. It's sexist. I'm disrespectful for saying women need to protect and provide No, no, for. no. That's not disrespectful. I like oh, that. that. That's part. a great point. Oh, pick oh she, he's cooking her, bro. He's cooking her. You can choose the disrespect. Here yeah. we go. Not the disrespect. That's not disrespectful. See, she's going back on herself, guys. She retreating now. Dis he's killing her, man. This is so... Bro... I'm almost feeling sorry for her, you know. This is an absolute battering. Respectful is having a relationship, having that commitment with someone, and then breaking that and having multiple women. If you want that lifestyle, like I said, by all means, go and have a great time. Like you said, you earned it. Just stay single. I don't mm. think, and you know the women that are accepting this, no offence, they obviously have very low self-worth and very low self-respect for themselves because why would you tolerate that? Or you can go and get a man that is only going to be loyal to you. No. Because what if a man loves you, yeah, wants you to have all of his children and he wants to raise his family with you and give you a great life. But every now and then, man might just chop a miscellaneous thing, wrap up, not bring no babies home and you don't find out. Like, bro, it, what, is, is that what oppression looks like? Is that what oppression looks like in 2024? Is, is, is that what oppression looks like? Like, bro, that's crazy. This girl saying stay single, but what if he wants to be married and have a family because he wants to have children? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like but what do you mean? I don't understand. This is not me saying, yeah, that every man should do this or every man should want to do this. But the point is, yeah, like in life, you can't have it all, bro. You know, like that. You might, your girl might be mad pretty. She might be really pleasant. But boy, she might not have the big bum that you wanted her to have. You know, like that. But you just have to accept that, you know what? Man can't get everything under one roof, blood. This ain't Toys R Us. You know, like that. This is just how it is. Man can't get everything here, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? Man man taking man for Macy's and that, bro. You're not going to get everything you want. You're not going to get everything you want here. Maybe they just care about the money. No, they're realistic. Okay, realistically gold diggers. No, re they're realistic in the sense where they understand I'm with a top tier guy. Mm -hmm. I know my place. I know other women are going to want him. I yeah. know he's going to be a man. Do you not think he's day, He loves me and he's going to come to me. The girls I'm with are realistic. They get it. The women that he's with, they maybe they probably have some daddy issues. They've got some self. This girl is talking about girl having daddy issues after what she's told us about her family setup. That's crazy, you know. That's crazy. The, the self awareness is lacking, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's lacking, bro. It's so bad. Esteem issues there. They're constantly seeking validation in the wrong places. Self-esteem issues, seeking validation. What has that got to do with what we were just discussing, bro? She's just throwing out buzzwords now at this point. Would you not hold more value as a high-value man, knowing that you can have any girl and anyone can you can have that, but not giving in? No. No. Would that not make you mentally stronger? physically stronger, physically more manly, that you don't give in to temptations. Men that can commit themselves and stay loyal to one person are the sexiest men in this world. No, they're not. No, they're not, bruv. Listen, you know the, the sexiest men on the planet, yeah, to women are the men that they know don't need them and can leave their claw at any time. This woman is out here gaslighting, bro. I'm telling you, when a woman knows that you can leave her and you have options, this is when she will behave her best. When you're pedestalizing these things and saying, I love you, I'll never leave you and all that, bro, this girl sending pussy pics to Slim Jimmy, blood.
The only time they're behaving is when they know that that you can leave, bro. What are you talking about? She's trying to gaslight man into believing, yeah? But, bro, let, let me put it this way to you guys. This is the reason why a lot of these modern women, yeah, are talking about dad bods now. Dad bods. Because they'll, they'll make you believe, yeah? All these girls will make you believe that they like man, yeah, that are out of shape. But guess what? When these bitches are having their hen parties, the strippers always got an eight pack, a massive chest, a massive shoulders, and they're all screaming and touching man's body and that. But then they'll tell you that they want to go home to a fat shit. And you man are believing that. You man really believe in that. These girls are lying to you. They want you to be fat and emasculated because they want Garfield at home. They want a house cat. They don't want a lion out in the streets. They want a house cat at home, a fat, furry house cat that ain't going to go outside and cheat. That's why they're telling you they want a fat man because they think the fat man are less likely to cheat. But guess what? It's going to hurt more when the fat man cheats on you, blood. You know them ones? Better off you get cheated on by someone that's got fucking guns like this, bruv. You know, like that. Because when you get cheated on by the fat Jonah Hill-looking motherfucker, you're going to wish that you took, you know what I mean, the chocolate gladiator instead. You know, like that. Because at least when I cheat on you, yeah, you can accept. You can understand why, bruv. When Jonah Hill cheats on you, you're going to say, what, that fat brother cheated on me? You mean I had to lie underneath that fat belly and he still cheated on me? The trauma is going to hit like Mike Tyson with the high top fade, bruv. <laughs> that trauma is going to hit you hard when he was lying under the hairy belly, blood. And the belly, man was bending you over and his belly was hitting you like that. Man's belly was slapping you. <laughs> hey, man was resting his belly on your belly. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Nah, bro, I swear to God. <laughs> a man rested his belly on her back in that. A man's bending her over. <laughs> Yo, blood, these things be lying, saying they want dad bods, you know. Fucking liars, man. Don't trust these hoes, man, them. I swear down. They don't want no fat donnies. They just say that because they think you won't cheat. But fat men are funny, blood, and these fat men will be laughing their way into some new pum pum fam. Would you hold value if you could bench 225 pounds? Yeah. No, you wouldn't. No one cares. <laughs> Oi, Myron. Man said nobody <laughs> Oi, bro, he's cooking her, bro. This ain't fair, man. Hey, nah. Myron got all the Infinity Stones, you know. That's the same exact thing with you asking, would you hold value? Would you hold value as a man if you were able to not have sex with a bunch of girls? That's a ridiculous question. It's because ridiculous we question. don't hold our value the same. You yeah. hold your value by not having sex with other people. Yeah. I demonstrate my value by being able to have sex with other girls. I don't think we're going to agree on this topic. You don't have to agree, but that's the reality of how men may select and how women may Did select. Did you always... 100%. At the end of the day, yeah, since the beginning of time, yeah, men have kind of demonstrated their value by hoarding resources to a certain degree. When, when I spoke about abundance... Do you know what I'm saying? They have abundance of riches, an abundance of children, an abundance of women. It's all about resources, bro. Do you know what I mean? And just hoarding resources. It's all about abundance. That's what I said. And like I said, a man can get nine women pregnant at the same time. A woman can't have nine babies in her belly from nine different men at the same time, bro. Abundance is our thing. It's literally our thing. We were put here to acquire resources and acquire more than we need so we can provide for others. It's all about abundance, fam. And that's just what it is. So our thing is not your thing. That's, that's just, that's what they need to understand, bro. Not everyone's going to be able to, to have that lifestyle. But what I'm saying is innately, every man wants that if they could have it. That's what I'm saying. If they could have it, they want that. There's no man on the planet here. Yeah? That if you said, yo, here's 10 million, here's a Lamborghini, here's all these things, they would say, ah, oh, nah, don't want it. Ain't no man that say don't want it. 
And then as soon as you've got that money, yeah, as a man, what do you do, bro? Look at all these men. You saw Lil Baby, yeah, giving James Harden money. Man, them are buying their brethren's chains. Do you know what I'm saying? The quarterback's buying all the man, them Rolexes. Naturally, as men, we want to provide for everyone. When we've got money, the whole squad's lit. When we've got money, the whole squad is lit when we've got money. Because that's how we are by nature. Whereas if a girl, she's got money, she ain't sharing that with her girl. That's crazy. She'll be rich and have the rich man and have all that money. She ain't buying her friend shit. They all go out and they're splitting the bill. Y'all don't like buying people shit. <laughs> you know, like, like that's what I'm saying. Y'all don't want to spend, they want to see no money. These girls ain't like paying for their girls to go on holiday with them and that. Y'all don't want to share no money. <laughs> what are you talking about? Man, them will go on holiday and pay for the whole gang, you know? The whole crew. Man's flying out the whole crew. It's crazy. When man have money, everyone's lit. That's why man are shook to talk to Rashford and them man there because he's paying for the whole squad to go Marbella in the summer. Everyone's lit. Everyone. When Gala got their rich husband and they got their allowance, they're not feeding none of their brethren. They're talking about, oh, Sophie can't go on holiday because her man lost her job. Sucks for her. Bro, these gala are not paying for you. <laughs> what are they doing? You got to understand, we want we want to have abundance so we can share with everyone. That's how we show out, bro. This is how we show out. This is how you know the man them are good. Because when they're up, everyone's up. Everyone's coming with me, bro. Everyone. This is what we do, fam. Always have this mindset, or with it, with money, did you require did you acquire this mindset? Yeah, I've always pretty much since yeah. you were young. You've always just said, "Yeah, you know what? Men should be able to just f around." Yeah, and you don't think that's disrespectful to your partner? Not at all, because men have to earn their value. So therefore, if you've earned your value, it's on you how you want to spend that value. Women don't right. earn their value, so they can't dictate how you spend yours. Toxic guy, bro. How is he toxic? This woman has sat here, yeah. Gaslit this bruh for the whole day, yeah? Disrespected him on a personal level because she couldn't beat his argument. And then turned around and called him toxic, bro. Nah, bro. She's got no self-awareness. But this is what these gal are like. Like I said, when the man them are up, everyone's up. When the gal them are up, she's up. You know what I mean? Shout out the chat. Man kept it a buck. Do you know what I mean? Poor self, I'm heartbroken for her. You know, like that. Her boyfriend got laid off and that. So she can't afford to go on holiday. You ain't paying for Sophie to come out. Man, them are up. Everyone's up. Quarterback got the big bonus. Everyone's getting Rolexes. What are we talking about? All the man, them lit. All the man, them got Rollies. Gala not like that. Their money is always their money. There's women that really just don't care about money at all. <laughs> I know in Miami that might sound but it What's she talking about? Every woman cares about money. Every single woman cares about money. Even if it's to the point where she says, I can't be with a man with less money than me. That's still caring about money. It's, yeah, it's, dudes don't want to have sex with girls. Yeah. Dudes that want to have sex with girls. No, I, I just was saying something else ridiculous that isn't true. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is true. There is women out there. I think you. You only know so many women because of the lifestyle that you've lived, obviously, and the ones you've been around. But in the real world, there's actually women that don't care about money. They're not... In the real world? So you think that he doesn't find these women in the real world? Wow. You, you, you know what? You know what? One of the most jarring things that gal do as well? It's the anecdotal stuff. They might have free friends. And because your free friends don't like something... No girl likes something. This is what they do. They'll be like, well, no one I know does that. Bitch, you got three friends. Three friends. There's like, I think there's like 7 billion women on the planet and you got three friends. They're not chasing after rich men. They're not chasing after all of these things. They just want substance, love and loyalty. 
if the guy has certain things in place first. Not necessarily. Women, absolutely women care. grow and build women, with their partners. Women grow and build with their partners. This girl said that a brother that made, I think, 6K enough, wasn't 6K a month wasn't enough money, said that she would want a 60 grand engagement ring, and now she's talking about growing with somebody. What are you talking about? This girl is absolutely waffling, bro. Absolutely care about a man's ability to provide security, and that security a lot of times contingent on how much I money think... they earn. All girls are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. What do I mean by this? I mean, some girls are overt about it, saying, I only marry millionaires or I only date millionaires. Cool. Shovel's right there. Everyone can see it. Mm -hmm. Some girls got the little fucking small shovel where they say stupid shit like, ambition. Oh, I want a man that's ambitious. Yeah. I want a man that has a good mindset that's a hard worker. That's still a gold digger to a degree because you're banking on potential. All girls. 100%. 100%. These guys see man as an investment, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So just because they don't want the money up front, but they want it in the future, you're still a gold digger, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just that you're being a little bit more slyer by. That's all it is. But that's why they use ambition. Or they say they want a hard worker because they're banking on you. The hard work is going to land you in some money eventually. This is why they say ambition. Those are gold diggers. Some are just better hiding the shovel, guys. Women are like sports scouts. You go to a game, you see this guy. Damn, this guy got potential. Okay. Some people are, some girls are uh, willing to take a risk on that individual. Some are not. And they're like, no, I want them to be self-made and be ready to go when I get there. But the point is, is that all girls are gold diggers to a degree and all girls care about a man's future. I 100%. That's it. Sports scouts. That's a good example. You know them ones. These gal will be out there thinking they're getting an Mbappe and they end up with a Garnacho blood. This is exactly what it is. That's the risk that you take. That's the risk that you take here yeah, for trying to play the long game, innit? And this is why... A lot of things just will wait at the finish line and look for a ready-made man. Because when you don't go for a ready-made man yet yeah, and you try and scout a brother, it's a big risk, blood. You don't want to end up with a skeletal, blood. You don't want to end up with that. Imagine. I actually think he needs to date a man because he hates women so much. Oh I know women that are happy being the breadwinners in their relationship. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? You know women that are happy to be the breadwinners. No. That's like saying, yeah, that you know men that are happy in their sexless marriage, bruv. No, you don't. No one's happy not getting pum pum, bro. No one. Me and the what? The bread, like, they earn the more money than their man. They don't fuck that man no more. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I'm saying, bro. Listen, if the man ain't making no money, the tun tun dry up, you know, like that, and it dry up for you, it dry up for you, bro. She might be out here mashing the gardener with no money, but he's giving her the leng leng, the unemployed leng leng, bruv. You know, them ones there. What are you talking about? But they do, and they have a healthy yeah. relationship, and that's just how they like it's their dynamic. She's chatting rubbish. This is the same woman, yeah, that's come out multiple times in this in this interview and said that by nature, women don't want to provide. They want to be provided for and protected. But then she's turning around and saying that she knows people, are women that are happy to be the breadwinners. No, they're not. They're not happy. And she knows that because she even said that she's not happy being in a masculine role. No woman's happy to be in a masculine role. A lot of women take up the masculine role because they have to. You know why? Not because you're an independent woman, because you're not independent. You're an adult. And guess what? Adults look after themselves. That's what makes you an adult. You're not an independent woman. You're an independent adult, bruv. Imagine if you saw a man them running around saying, I pay my own bills. We'll be looking at these men saying, you're a flipping idiot. Who else is going to pay them? Imagine that. Man them on podcasts talking about, I pay my own bills, you know. I got my own car. I got my own house. Do you know what I mean? That was like man like Julian, yeah? Do you know what I mean? I wipe my own ass. Man like Julian, bruv. Man wipes his own ass and that. Yo.
Trust me. What do you mean you wipe your own ass? What do you mean? This is crazy to me, bro. The woman talking about I pay my own bills. You're a fucking grown adult. I should hope so. I should hope so. It's it, She don't respect him. She don't like him like that. She's probably talking to other guys. Not all women are gold diggers. I know a lot of women that really just don't care about money these days. Bruv, listen, gold diggers is just another word for they want to be provided for. Every woman wants to be provided for. Do you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Gold diggers, the term gold diggers has been um, seen as a derogatory term and stuff. But, bro, every woman wants to be provided for, bro. Every single woman. There's not a woman on earth, yeah, that would choose to not be provided for, yeah, if they could have the opportunity to be provided for. It's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're lazy or they're this. It's because that's their nature. The same way, yeah, if you offered the majority of men, yeah, the capabilities to look after a woman or said to them, you know what? I can give you a woman that can look after you and you don't ever have to work again. Most women, men would say, hell no, because you'll feel fucking emasculated. Because deep down inside of us, we know that this is not the way things are supposed to go. If your woman's paying for everything, she might as well be bending you over the kitchen sink, bro. You're her property now, bruv. You know, like that. That's crazy. Ugly girls don't care about money a lot of times. That's true. But who cares about them? Wow. Wait, well, Myron's absolutely killing her, you know? I wish there was a fuck no for this. Why? Because women are useless friends. <laughs> Yo. This is bullying, you know? I'm not going to lie. He's bullying her. And that's why when you remember saying our rants, you should go on the show. Nah, because I feel like it would it would feel like this. You know, like that. This is mad one-sided. You know, this, this was like the Manchester derby. You know, like that. Like, Ten Hogs coming out saying, oh, yeah, like it was fine margins. And then man saw the stats. United had two shots in 96 minutes. Not even two shots on target. Two shots, period. Man's talking about fine margins. It was like two shots to like 20, 30 certain shots. Talk about fine margins. This is a beating, you know. Remember I said women suck at everything? One of the things they suck at is being friends. There we go again. I'm going back to my statement of you don't like women. Oi, man, them. Have you ever dated a girl, yeah? That's gone on holiday with their friends. Why do gal always go on holiday with each other then end up falling out every single time? I can't tell you the last gal here that I've had anything to do with that's gone on holiday with her girls and at least one of the girls on the holiday, they come back and they're not talking no more. It's like, bro, the quickest way to break up a female friendship is send them on holiday together. I think if women didn't have vaginas, would you even have any association with a woman? No. I agree with Myron. Fantastic question. Mm -hmm. So That's are you a gay? No. That's a big... Are you gay? Why? Like, what are we doing? Are we doing this again? Are we doing this again? Like, bro. No, bro. Like, let's play this again. I hate it. This shaming thing is annoying. I think if women didn't have vagina, would you even have any association with a woman? No. Fantastic question. Mm -hmm. So That's are you a gay? No. That's a big... No. Would Are you gay? Mandem, let me tell you something. And the reason why the answer is no for me also is yesterday I told you, went out for um dinner with for my brother's birthday. I was at the table with I'd say about 12 of us, 12 men at the table, yeah. We were there from 8 30 to 11 30, three hours. We had about six or seven courses, yeah, of Japanese food. And we spoke about football for three hours. I could never have that much fun on a, out having dinner with a woman, ever. Impossible. We spoke about football for three hours, bro. Man spoke about Vinicius versus Mbappe, who's better. Man was speaking about, bro. My brethren, Nick was there. 
We're talking about Arsenal. We ended up talking about Martinelli and Rashford and Garnacho. Then my boy J-Rock was there, who's a Liverpool fan. Man was talking about what life after Klopp's going to look like. We spoke about how the Manchester derby was going to go. Man was talking about bare things. For three hours, we spoke about football. For three hours, and we ate top quality man had wagyu steak blood man had the top of the range steak bruv man had the salt everything i was living life and i spoke about football for three hours with the man them there's not a single woman on this planet i could sit across the table from for three hours eating fine dining yeah and have any conversation that would be remotely as enjoyable as that so what are we talking about do you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, yeah, the best friendships are built on common interests. How many common interests do you have with a woman as a man, really? Not many. Not many. Unless you're Diddy blood. Would you just prefer to date men? No. Because vagina but you is a just seem like you like men so much more than women. This woman said you seem like you like men more than, than women, but bro, she said that men are men are rubbish, men suck, men are ugly. So she likes women more than men. So what is she gay then? Or does it only work one way around? She getting cooked. I understand where each gender has value. Conversation, making money, having... Are we not having a great conversation right now? I'm at... No, we're not having a great conversation. You've been boring and you've been caught. Actually in pain. But we're making this happen, right? Wow. Making it work. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> nah, this is mad. But it's okay. I, I have a high pain tolerance going to the gym. So they, okay, women fine. have a higher pain tolerance than men. Just saying. That's no, they don't. Just saying. You know, no, they don't. Do you know what I'm saying? No, they do not, bro. I'll be real. Like I said before, I've seen some guys take an absolute ass kick in there yeah, and still get up. Do you know what I'm saying? Women ain't taking the beatings. I've seen some of these men them take. Clapham High Street, blood. Listen, <laughs> I seen man get weighed in. No girl ain't taking them kind of beatings. Do you know what I mean? We're naturally physically stronger. We have higher bone density. We have all of these other things. So how can we have a lower pain tolerance, yeah? A lower pain threshold if we're physically stronger? When you're physically stronger, your body can physically take more stress. So how would they have a higher pain threshold than us that's physically impossible that's Keep fantastic going. women don't have the same life experiences as men so it's very difficult for them to identify what your masculine problems controversial take here if you're not getting sexual access to a woman you're not getting her best women can't serve two masters so for you to get the best out of a woman get that nurturing care get that oh bro i need to bring that back man said women can't serve two masters you know hey this guy is hey yo he's cooking bro do you know what I'm saying? He's cooking. And her reasoning is 100% pregnancy. Because, bro, have you ever touched a woman on her arm and she's like, ow! Shut up, man. About you got higher pain threshold. Everything's ow, bro. If you're not getting sexual access to a woman, you're not getting her best. Women can't serve two masters. So for you to get the best out of a woman, get that nurturing care, get that, you know, that what I call high give a fuck to that women give, you have to be having sex with her and she has to respect you. Yep. If you're in a friend zone, by definition, she doesn't respect you. I don't. Facts. Hey, bro, it's facts, bro. Listen, and bro, I've said this to a woman before, you know. I've said this to a woman before um, because this girl liked me, innit? She liked me. She was, she was pretty, but there was bare red flags about her. I wasn't really taking her seriously, if I'm being honest, innit? She was, she was very attractive. And it was one of them ones where it was like, even though she was attractive, I seen bare red flags with her. You know them ones. So I was just treading mad carefully in a sense that it was kind of like, if the opportunity came that I could be, I would be, but I was, I wasn't, I knew I couldn't wife it. You know what I mean? Because there was too many red flags. I could see that she was a very pretty girl, but 
she was very dependent on external validation. You know them as I could tell. Girls that like to be complimented too much. Girls that always post pictures on Instagram or stories and stuff. Like, she would post stuff on Instagram to get my attention. And I would know that she would do it. And I would ignore it. And then she would WhatsApp me and say, oh, you didn't like my picture or something like that. And I just, like, them things there. I'm like, bro, if you want me to like your picture, send it to me directly, innit? Like, if you're posting this on a public Instagram account, yeah, for next man to see, I don't want it. I'm the kind of guy, if everyone can have it, I don't want it. That's just what I'm like, innit? So I could just see, nah, she was a red flag. But she was pretty, blood. You know, like that. And it's just like, no, nah, I can't do it, bro. Man absolutely cannot do these things, bro. So when these girls talk like this, it's facts. And she was like, nah, her thing was with me, yeah? She was saying to me, yo, I don't compliment her. I don't do all these things. But then she would say to me, oh, yeah, we should go out and we should do all these things. And in my head, I basically said to her, I basically said to her, if I'm not beaten, yeah, we're not doing any of these things. We're not doing none of these things. And she said to me, she was like, oh, well, I don't just do X, Y, Z and this, that and the other. And I have to get to know someone. I said, that's fine. I said, that's fine. But I said, as a man, I'm not going to feel like you're mine, yeah, until I smash. Until I smash, I don't feel like you're mine. I feel like you're everyone's. You know, like that, because at the end of the day, yeah, how men feel like a gal is actually their gal is when they get regular access to the pom pom. If a gal is not giving you access to the pom pom, she's not yours, bro. You're just her sponsor. That's all it is. So when she was like, oh, I want to get to know you. I want us to go out and spend time together. I'm like, bro, I'll be real. I don't want to spend time together if I'm not beaten. I don't want to. You know, like that. And as you can imagine, that went down like a lead balloon, man, them. You know, like, <laughs> I have to be real. But I had to keep it a buck with her. Do you know what I mean? I don't care if you don't usually sleep with guys before this day. And I don't care, bro. If I'm not beaten, you're not mine. You know what I mean? Even if you tell me you're not talking to other guys, and you're not out, you're not looking for other guys and you want to get to know me and you want to focus on me and things will try and twang you and say, oh, we want the same things. And you know what I mean, try to gas you up. But I'm not a dickhead. I said, listen, if I'm not beaten, everything else is off the table. Do you know what I mean? Everything else is off the table. This is what it is. Like we met up a couple times. And after we met up a couple times. She wanted to still go out. And I just told her, listen, if I'm not beaten, we can end this here. Because I'm not just going to keep taking you out on dates. You know what I mean? You're telling me how good a time you're having and you're not freeing up the thing. And then you're letting me, you're telling me that this is what you normally do with guys. Like, bro, I don't care if this is what you normally do. I said, I can't feel like you're my girl and for me to give you energy and for you to be texting me every evening and asking me how my day's been and telling me how your day's been if I'm not getting the pom-pom. If I'm not getting the pom-pom, I don't care about your day. I don't care about your argument with your friend. I don't care about your argument with your boss at work. I don't care about anything if I'm not getting the pom-pom. I'll be honest. You know what I mean? Like th This is just what it is. I can't actually invest emotionally, yeah? In any woman that's not giving me pom pom, I can't do it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, and I, I don't think any man can do it. I think men pretend to do it. Do you know what I mean? I, I think men pretend to do it, or they think that if they can friendship their way into some pom pom, do you know what I mean? But you can't. Do you know what I mean? So I just told her, listen. Like, we went out a couple times. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I told you, man, already. Like, when I go out, I do activity dates. We went out on a couple dates. I could tell that she was into, man. 
because she would text me first, all these things. So I knew she genuinely liked me. But I was like, listen, unless unless you're freeing up the pum pum, yeah, this ain't going no further, you know. You know, it's not going no further. I let her know. We've been out on a couple dates. You're texting me and all these things. And the thing is, I can tell that you feel like we've built enough of a rapport that if something happened at your house, you would expect me to come over. So if you feel like I should be protecting you now, then where's my pum pum? You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, man need to be hitting something. Do you know what I mean? And this is what it is. I need to be hitting something. If I'm not hitting it, do you know what I mean? And then you're messaging me saying, oh, like, the boiler's broken. Can you come and look at this, bro? Why am I helping you fix your boiler? You can freeze to death, bitch. If I ain't getting no pom-pom, freeze. You know what I'm saying? Freeze to death. I don't think that's a true statement at all. How can you not just... It's the same as just having a girl meet. It's like having a guy meet. No. You no. can have the same kind of conversation. If a guy's in a talk... friend zone by a woman, yeah. she does not respect him. Of course you can respect them. When a woman friend zones you guys, it effectively means you are not sexually attractive to me and I do not want to procreate and or carry your lineage. Don't ever accept the friend zone. Go find another girl. Facts. This is it. When the girl meeting, that's a mad thing. Okay, but she's not friend zoned him. They're just friends. They both made a mutual decision to be just no, no, friends. No, no, no. She made the decision. Yeah. He wants to smash. I if it's the other way around, cool. I'm cool with the guy having friends and he's choosing it. That's fine. But when it's but let's be honest here, mm. that's rarely the case. It's always the yep. woman is friends with the guy. He wants to sleep with her. She knows this, but she's able to siphon off utility from him. Oh, I'm able to have a guy I could talk to. Oh, I'm able to get this masculine energy. Oh, I'm able to get the boyfriend energy. It's basically you're able to have a boyfriend without fucking him. It's a win-win for women. But 100% he's spot on And this is what it is It's about utility We've got a lot more uses Outside of sex for women Than they have for us That's just the reality And it still goes down to Like when he was talking about superiority Women expect men Men to come to the table with a lot more Than we expect them to come to the table with This is why women are not looking for equals They're looking for superiors but then when you turn around and tell a woman that you're superior to them, they'll say that you're sexist or you're misogynist or whatever. But the facts are you're looking for a superior. You've been looking for one. But then when I tell you that I'm superior to you, it hurts you. It makes you feel a type of way. But deep down, you really know I am. But I great. have a Do great it, friend but... who I've had since I was 11, who's a male, who would never sleep with me, doesn't oh, want really? to sleep with me. Yes. If you called him at 2 a.m. and said, I'm drunk and horny, he would fuck you. He 100% wouldn't fuck me. Oh, yeah, sure. Ever. There's just never been that. I think because we grew up together from such a young age. Nope. 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 That's a lie. Been together from a young age. Because, bro, I know man them that grew up with girls, yeah? And, bro, when man them hit puberty, all of a sudden they want to mash anyway. I'll be real. They want to mash. Like, man them are not, are not friends with... Um, attractive women yeah voluntarily and even if they've known them for a long a long amount of time yeah it gets to the point where they want to be absolutely they do even if they don't act on it the reason why they don't act on it yeah is because one they might be hoping that she acts on it or two they don't want it to be mad awkward each there's just there isn't an attraction he's literally like my family no yeah no Trust me, bro. You can be stepbrother and sister, bro. And if the attraction's there, yeah, a man will still try to beat his stepsister, bro. Like, nah, what are you talking about? About, oh, we're like family, but you're not family. Do you know what I mean? That's like me giving you a tomato and saying, oh, it's like an apple, blood. It's not a fucking apple, bruv. It's a tomato, bruv. Yes. No. And he See, would never fuck me. He would have given an opportunity. He would never. W women constantly think that their friendship and their company is more valuable than it really is. The reality is that most men wouldn't most talk men to you guys. Most men value women, though. You no, no, don't no, no, like no, 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 no. us. Most men would not talk to women if they didn't have vaginas. That's facts. That's also That's not a true fact. statement. That's an absolute fact. That is not a fact. If there was no sex involved and there was no sexual access, we would not talk to y'all. We would play video games. We'd hang out with our bros. But women we play chill. video games. Women don't women play video games, yeah, cool, and men paint their nails. 
The exceptions do not make the rules. Women on a whole do not play video games. Women on a whole do not play sports. Just because they're trying to push women's football on you, don't let it twang you into believing that loads of women play football. They don't. How many girls do you know that actually play football in your life? Not many. Just because you see it on TV, that doesn't mean that loads of girls play football. They don't. What is she talking about? Women suck at video games. I'm fucking fantastic, actually. Oh, my days. Now you're good at video games. You're good at driving. She's a flipping unicorn, isn't it? She's a flipping unicorn. Look at Myron's face. He's like, this gal is full of shit. So let's stop calling oh me sucky. God. Women are great at okay, things, just okay? You're, okay, just because you might be good at something doesn't mean that a majority of women don't suck. But just Most because you're suck. good at something doesn't mean the majority of men don't suck. What do you mean? The majority of humans these days, unfortunately, suck. All the top video game players are men. All the top chess players are men. All the top drivers are men. NASCAR True. drivers, etc. Formula One. That's because it's a lot harder for women to get into the field because a few years ago we couldn't oh, even work. Here we go. Oh, here we go. We couldn't even work. Wah, wah, wah. You know what I was there? What are you talking about? Hey, guys, guess what, yeah? I can't get a job because of slavery. It's 2024. <laughs> what are you... What's this girl talking about? <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> now, I'm confused. She's like, no, women are not good at driving cars because we weren't allowed to have jobs. <laughs> what? <laughs> is she all right? Nah, this is crazy. I can't lie, bro. Hey, I need to hear that again, bro. This is mad. Hey, bro. Listen, next time I can't do anything, I'm just blaming slavery straight away. I don't care, bro. What do you mean? The majority of humans these days, unfortunately, suck. All the top video game players are men. All the top chess players are men. All the top drivers are men. NASCAR drivers, etc. Formula One. That's because it's a lot harder for women to get into the field because a few years ago we couldn't oh, even work. So we couldn't even work. So that's why you can't drive a car better than men or you can't play chess. Bro, you play chess at home. You play video games at home. The reason why women are not better than men at these things has got nothing to do with not being able to work. That means you had more time at home to learn how to play chess. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are we talking about? You could have learned how to play chess at home when you were unemployed. Do you know what I'm saying? Why didn't you learn how to play chess at home when you was when you was handcuffed? Yeah, when you was handcuffed to the kitchen counter, bruv, handcuffed to the oven. Yeah, why didn't you get a chessboard and play chess with the other hand while you were handcuffed to the oven, bruv? What is this woman talking about? We weren't allowed to work, so because of that, we can't play chess. I can't lie, bro. Listen, that's my thing now, you know. That's my thing now. Whatever. If any time I can't do something, it's because of slavery, fam. I can't lie. It's because of slavery. If I don't get my YouTube plaque here in the next three months, it's because of slavery. There you go. Okay. No, no, no. Men dominate the world. We understand naturally. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Women dominate the world. No, they don't. Women have more. Okay, name one right or privilege that men have that women don't. Besides being able to have sex with a bunch of women without being judged. Why is he pointing at me? What do you mean? Why is he pointing at you? You've been throwing up gang signs for the whole video, you know, and all of a sudden, yeah, he literally. Like, gives you a little bit of the energy that you were giving him And all of a sudden, yeah Like, it's a problem And this is exactly what I mean about Gyal, yeah It's like, when they can't beat your argument They start to try and just They try and discredit you Name one right or privilege men have that women don't In this day and age, none Exactly Women do run the world Nowadays, especially The men do this and the men do that And now all of a sudden women run the world Make your mind up, mate Huh? This woman was saying, yeah, how oppressed women were, yeah, and we couldn't leave the house. Now she's saying that women and men are equal in terms of rights, but these gals still feel oppressed, you know. They really do.
It's crazy. There's a lot more things that women can do that men can't do now. Women can go online and cuss men off. And they can't get banned, you know. But when man them are telling next man them to watch out for these hoes, they're getting demonetized. I just understand that we're different. And there's also we a saying in Spanish, that we're different. the prettier you are, the quieter you are. Wow. In all the Latin world. Are so, you Spanish? No. Or did you I'm just not. obtain that because you hate women? No, no, no. My, well, it's actually funny. My girlfriend told me that phrase. So, Which yeah. one? Number six. She's number one now, but she was number two before. Okay. Yeah. Oi, Myron is a, he's a monster, you know. He's a monster. She says she upgraded, I bet she feels great there about that. Go. Yeah, hey, man. Do you know what? As this day's gone on, it's just got worse and progressively worse and worse. And... That's exactly what Myron's saying. Have you seen this guy's face? He's sick of you, love. Worse. So they're all treated the same. They all get the same access to you? If they're my main girl. But I have a very strict vetting phase. Yeah, it's not easy managing women. How many main girls do you have at once? Like, what do you think is like a healthy, obtainable amount for you? What could you tolerate in life? It depends on the guy. Every man is different, has different tolerance levels. But I think having uh, one to three main girls and then some side chicks, you you know. Did you see that's the word mate? Get... Oi, Myron. You see, mm. this is where these men them lose me. And not because I don't think it's possible, yeah, but because I could not. I could not have three main things. I couldn't even have two. Bro, like, I only want one woman, yeah, talking to me at one time. And, bro, I'll be real. Even when she is my main girl, I still don't want to talk to her, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You know, like, maybe it's just me. Do you know what I mean? I could love you, yeah, but don't ring my phone unless it's an emergency. You know? <laughs> bro, I swear, the house better be on fire. Why are you ringing me? Like, just text me, bro. I'll get back to you when I get back to you. Like, I, don't, I ain't got the time for it. Do you know what I mean? I ain't got the time for it. I can't imagine three girls, yeah, all thinking in their head that they're, they're entitled to my attention all the time. I can't think of anything worse than that. Like, nah, bro, listen, I can't lie. Any man that wants to do that, bro, I respect you, but it's not for me. Yeah, bro, listen, bro, listen. Sometimes you don't even want to chat to your girl, man, them. Like, big man thing. Like... She'll come home, she'll come home from work and she'll want to tell you about her day and you just don't give a toss, bruv. You know, like that, that's just what it is. So imagine if you got three things that want to tell you about their day all at the same time. And imagine one of them, like, had an argument with her best friend and then the other one had a bad day at work and then the other one's on her period and you got to deal with all three of them at the same time. Fucking hell, bro. Kill me now. You know, man said three main girls and side chicks, bro. I can't lie. You must like pain and suffering, Myron, bro. I don't want that. Bro, just give me one girl, yeah, that just doesn't annoy me. Just one pretty thing that don't annoy me and I'm good, you know. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm just good, bro. I just want a peaceful life. Like, I can't see a peaceful life with loads of women. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't see it. I, like, women don't want peace. They want problems at all times. They're chaotic. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Crazy. Like, you know, when you go to a restaurant, you get side dishes, you get a main course, you get one. You get a few sides, but you get one main. You can't say one to three main girls because... You'll only get one main. Yeah, but the if rest you, will well, be hold on, hold on. But if you go to the gym and you train hard, you're going to want two mains. No, I won't, actually. Yeah. I'm, not that, that, yeah, I'm not that hungry. You need more calories. Yeah, so just have one big main. No, no, no. She's trying to use meals, yeah, as an example. Do you know what I'm saying? But that, what does that mean? Because even after you have the main, man still have the dessert. You know, like that. And if you got sweet tooth, you might have two desserts. You know what I'm saying? So what 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 are we saying? What are we saying? Now that doesn't make no sense. And facts, yeah, man might have one main. Maybe I might want the curry goat one day, then I want the jerk chicken the next day, then I want the ackee and saltfish the next day, blood. They're all mains, blood. Do you know what I mean? But man don't want the same main every day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Man can rotate between them three meals twice a week, blood. And then on Sunday. Man might go rogue, do you know what I'm saying, and get a pea soup or something. 
You get me a red pea soup and that, bro. Listen, what are you talking about, bro? So, bro, listen, if man them want variety, good for you. You know, like that. But I'll be honest, yeah, I don't like the headache that comes with it. So it's a no from me. Let's get a bigger woman. Two minutes. Oh, no, you, might want, like you, you want chicken here? You want steak here? You went really hard in the gym. You need extra protein. Same thing. I can eat a lot. I put work in the gym. Unlike these fat hoes. I read. <laughs> Man said, like, unlike these fat hoes, yo, Myron is crazy. Nah, he, nah, he's come here to just cause complete disruption, you know. Unlike these fat hoes, <laughs> nah, this is this is violent, man. I really admire the way that you can make anything make sense in your head. I love no, that I think, about I you. Think, I think it makes a lot of sense I for anyone. I love that about because, you. Because men operate in a meritocracy. Because I just talked about women, and you went, yeah, yeah, but I like chicken and steak. This is a lot. These are human beings. They are treasured, beautiful souls. <laughs> treasured, beautiful souls. You're a single mother of two children. What? Treasured souls. You gave your soul to another man, bro. And then you ran him over. <laughs> And you're just you, see how you like you can't. Oh, you know what? I think you'd love it more if I was sat here and I had a penis. Well, we'd have a more rational conversation wow. versus you and your feelings. She's trying to trying to call him gay again. And these are the kind of girl that would turn around and say they're not homophobes. Why you keep taking shots at gay people for? Because that's what she keeps doing. She keeps calling him gay, yeah. Like, like she's shaming him, bro. But, I'm not in my feelings. Uh, well, it, I'm not in my feelings. I'm actually really enjoying this. I I'm, think it's really I, great. I, here's my thing. I just speak from a very matter-of-fact standpoint. What I'm saying is that as a man, if you go out there and conquer the world, you're going to get hungry and you're going to want multiple chicks. It just comes down to do you have the value to be able to do it and pull it off? Most guys don't. So they got to sit there and be like, I'm monogamous. But most guys don't want to be monogamous. If you're a guy, you're attractive, you got your shit together, maybe you're religious or whatever, and you're like, I'm going to be monogamous because of my religion. Fantastic. You made that choice. What I have an issue with is when guys are sitting there being monogamous because their girl tells them, if you cheat, I'll cut your dick off. Man, I, I wish my girl would try to tell me some shit like that. Happy wife, happy life. You can lie. Happy that is King, actually happy, so true. It's happy king, happy king dumb is how it works. So my thing is... Did you, know, you make that phrase up for you? No. I've never had that in my life. Listen, happy king, happy kingdom is lit. And the reason why it's lit is because if the king's happy... Everyone in the kingdom is happy, blood. If the king's pissed, I'm sending the king's guards and I'm chopping up everyone, blood. Man, I write off your blood clot. You know, like that. When the king's unhappy, bro, man's wreaking havoc on the whole kingdom, bruv. You know, like that. And this is exactly what it is. So if I'm happy, everyone is sorted by default. That's what it is. Everyone is going to have a good time because I'm having a good time. You know, like that. And this is what a lot of these women need to understand. If your man is happy, yeah, and he's in a good state of mind, you are going to be the beneficiary indirectly anyway. So if you cater to him and you make sure he's good, he should treat you well, yeah, by just, bro, like just as a result of that. Because naturally we want to, we want to give anyway. This is what we are. So it's a sick saying. I can't lie, bro. He's hit the nail on the head. None of this happy wife, happy life. Because with gal, the more you give them, the more they take, bro. And the more they take you for granted. You never heard that? You went, mm, let me see how I can turn this to a manly thing. And then you just made your own catchphrase. Men lead, have to, men lead women follow. That's how it's got to be. I agree with that. Women can't lead anything. That's not true. <clears throat> Myron is absolutely winding her up, you know. Man said men would lead, women follow. And then she said, I agree. Because women can't do shit. Like, he's just literally just, he's he's playing with her, bro. This is what JJ Okocha done to um, Oliver Kahn, bruv. You know when he sat man down like seven times, yeah? That's exactly what Myron's doing, bro. Just bare fake shots, just putting her on the floor. She's getting back up, then sitting her back down again. This is crazy. They suck as politicians. They can't lead nothing. When they're CEOs of companies, they suck. Yeah, because the men in, in power right now are doing a real great job. These things want to wanna be flipping, looked after by men physically, financially, and then sexually as well. What do I get? And what do I get? A little dry sandwich. Do you know what I mean? And a little dead ride in that. A little two minutes on top. And then you're breathing like Kevin De Bruyne. It's crazy. 
derive pleasure from you guys being quiet, making sandwiches, and giving us sex. You, you guys do, derive pleasure. You don't like us. You guys derive pleasure from us being successful, being the most attractive guy. Yes. How other women look at us. Men love women that other men love. Maybe. No, they don't. Cucks. You, you want to know what guys like? Let me find a hot girl that doesn't have an Instagram. Yep. No one knows who she is. Yep. I'm going to bring her out, and people will be like, oh, shit, who's that? We don't know who she is. And if we don't need other people to validate her. Women, on the other hand, they want to be with the top guy. They want to be with the guy. He walks in the club or he walks in somewhere. Oh, such and such. Oh, women need social proof. We don't. That's not facts. This is what I said before, guys. The more women you get, the more women want you. This is why ugly brez like Pete Davidson, yeah, can be mashing down all these hoes, blood. Because he'll mash down Kim Kardashian and then Kim Kardashian will be out there saying, yo, man, mash me down good and then all these things I want to mash down Pete Davidson and he's a clapped you. This is what women are like, social proof. This is what it is. Once women know that other women want a man, then they want them. Men are the opposite. Once I find out bare man have had you, I don't want you no more. You're a dirty skit. You get me? This is exactly what it is, bro. Like you said, man them want a nice, cute thing that's not on Insta that no one's got access to. And they just, bruv, they don't need man them to tell them that their gal is, is a baddie. They just, bro, as long as she's a baddie to me, that's all that matters, bro. Myron is cooking her up, bro. She's getting sautéed, fam. Not true, but also imagine if you got a what? girlfriend. That's not true. I don't that know women don't want social, social status, no. You, okay, let me ask you a question then. Let's have fun with this. Okay. Let's say we met, right? Mm -hmm. We met in London. And, I, and you find me attractive. I'm like, oh, I'm throwing a party. Like, I'd love for you to come. Bring some of your girlfriends. It's going to be awesome. And you're like, cool, yeah, for sure. Two scenarios. You come to the party, right? First one. You show up, you and your girlfriends, and there's 50 dudes and like three girls. Are you staying? No. Okay. Switch it up. Show up to the party in the second scenario with you and your girlfriends. 50 girls, like five guys. Are you staying? Yeah. I wonder why. Social proof is important, isn't it? It's not about social proof. That is social proof. Women feel more comfortable being in, in an environment full of women. Okay. If there's 50 men, I'm going to feel intimidated. I'm going to feel on edge. And I don't like that. Okay. That's not about social but, proof. No, 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 no. But see, here's the thing. Your ability to feel safe is rooted in social proof. The He's 100% right. Because if there's loads of girls there and they feel safe there, naturally she'll feel safe there. And being able to have a bunch of women there displays an ability of... This guy has some kind of social semblance. This guy's See, able I to wouldn't have even thought of it like that. I would have been like, great. Because I women can dance live with life women on easy mode. This is what I'm trying to say. See, women live life on easy mode. You don't even understand all the bits and pieces of work that go into men creating an environment like... for women to have fun. He's spot on. He's spot on. That's the thing. A lot of women do things, yeah, and they don't understand their thought process behind it because they just do it naturally. The same way they naturally look for taller men. The same way they naturally look for richer men. The same way they look for men that are stronger than them. They look for men that are stronger than them. The same way they look for men to lead. And they say, oh, I like a guy with confidence. It's not the confidence. It's just that they like men to lead, bro. So in their head, they think confidence. But really, it's just a guy that actually sets pace. And they see that as confidence, bro. That's just exactly what it is, bro. He's spot on. If she goes to a party and there's five brothers and there's bare gal, a part of them is thinking, yo, there's bare gal in here, so clearly there must be something about these men, bro. There's a curiosity there. And also, she's going to feel safe because other gal feel safe, bro. Like, this is what I mean when I say girls have zero concept of what it's like to be a man or to be attractive. And this is why we can have multiple chicks and you guys can't because we have to do all the work. Like, that's no, right I there. think that's just you because I think when everyone goes to you home and they point. go to sleep at night, you sit there with a graph and now. you dissect every scenario ever, yes. and then you try yes. and make it like bulletproof. Yes. When actually it's not that hard. Men must do. You the make work. it harder than it needs to be. Men, men have to do the work to be attractive to women. He is thinking about that way too much, bro. And again, this is another advantage of being a woman. You don't need to think very much because life just happens to you. Do you know what I'm saying? A woman can just be minding her own business. A man could come up to her. They can start chatting. Then they go out on a date. And then before she knows it, she's in a relationship. And then she's pregnant. And then she's married, bruv. Life can just happen to women, bro. Life don't happen to men. 
if you don't get your shit together as a man, do the work, yeah, that it takes to attract a certain caliber of woman, yeah, you're not going to end up with the woman you want. You're not going to end up with the relationship you want. You're not going to end up with the family you want. You're not going to end up with anything that you want unless you need to know how you want it and be very intentional about how you get it. A woman could end up just meeting her dream man at a party and end up having her dream life without even having to think about how she got it. We can't just stumble across a flipping woman that we want and a family and a lifestyle. We have to be intentional and plan for it, bro. So the fact that she's talking about saying he overthinks things, every man has to think about every move we make. Even when you're mashing down a thing that you met at a party, you got to think in the back of your mind where well, this bitch could get me arrested for our oh, blood. And you know what I'm saying? And I got consent. But the bitch could still send me to jail, bro. This is what we're doing, man. Them. The thing's not the same. It's not the same. Man, them have to think. It's chestnut checkers out here. Because it wasn't easy for him to get those 50 bitches at that Why thing. are you ugly growing up? What does that have to do I'm with just anything? Asking, why are you ugly growing up? Uh, why are you ugly growing up? Where are you going with this? I would have said, listen, Porky, where are we going with this? Where are you ugly growing up? Do you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Man said she got shoulder pads like a linebacker in that. All right, I'll answer that in a second. Why is she asking me this fucking weird ass question about I was ugly growing up? All guys were pretty much. See, th this is what I mean when I say women only see like surface level of the work that men put in, right? But not like, every man puts in this much effort or this much thought behind it. The most attractive things. ones do. And this is how you get the girls. You have to put in all this effort. This is why a man that is attractive, it's like a superpower because it's so hard to get. You expect to just bang one girl after you learned all this shit? Hell no. But you, you play women like we're a game. You play the relationships like it's a game, like it's a test that you're always game. trying to pass, but it it's not. The problem it's is meant this. to be beautiful. It's it meant is to be a game. Harmonious. It's meant to be beautiful. Listen, there's nothing beautiful. Mandem will tell you, yeah, there's nothing beautiful about trying to get the woman that you want, bro. Because before you get um, the woman that you want, bro, like they say, there's no such thing in, is luck, yeah? It's what preparation meets what timing or whatever the hell it is. I can't fucking remember now. Preparation meets opportunity or something. And, that, and, that, and that's what they call luck, innit? When you meet this woman and you get this woman, all the work that you had to put in before is the reason why you got this woman. It's all them hours in the gym. It's all of that time building yourself up to make the money that you made. You might have been working on your appearance. You might have been working on your sense of humor. You might have had to date girls to find out what works and what doesn't work. There's so much that went in before, yeah? For you to become the guy that she wants and the guy that she likes now. So much work has gone into that. Gyal will never, ever, ever understand that. And then she could turn around and say, oh, were you fat growing up? Bro? Or, or were you um, ugly growing up or something like that? What the fuck has that got to do? What the fuck has that got to do with anything? Even if she was fat growing up here, yeah? even if she was, it wouldn't make a difference, bro, because fat things get laying down all the time. It's crazy.